This is my 51st year. It came out of the factory, the boiler, and as an engine, just like you see it here. The wheels and everything, all the engine components were all stripped off, and the boiler was put into this dry cleaning plant. The fellow that I got it from, he had got it from uh, this firm, Bill Schillinglaw was his name, and he was a past president of Milton Steam Era. Shelby and I went back and got it in January uh, 2012 and brought it home and uh, I restored it from then on and got it up and going. See this section right here with this four rows of rivets, that, that's what is termed a butt strap boiler. And that, they were the best boilers that you could get. I was fortunate I had a a job with a plumbing shop in between, um, well, after high school. And then I had a little short course with Niagara uh, Park Commission, the School of Horticulture for tree work and so on. But uh, an in-between job uh, with a heating and plumbing agency in St. Catharines. And so I learned quite a lot of plumbing skill and piping and, and this kind of thing, you know, setting up your injector pipes and with the injector feed water and that. So I, I can do all that stuff myself. It can be pretty dangerous, uh, you know, that, that's a pressure vessel and at 150 pounds, if it was to blow, it can do a lot, a lot of damage. The engines were so over and above built by today's standards. They, they want tractors and equipment to be out the, the junkyard, in a junkyard in about 20 years, 25 years. <laughs> they don't want stuff to last. Like here we are, you know, with a boiler 100 years old, and, uh, still working, you know, it still can go out and do a day's work.